Um, all right, let's uh, shift to another very interesting conversation. And we have with us Manav Chopra, Director and Technical Analyst, uh, Novama Interna Institutional Equities. Manav, great to have you on the show. And thank you so much for joining us. Um, you know, just let's start talking about what's happening with the Nifty. Uh, definitely bound in a range. Uh, are we now in oversold territory waiting for the next breakout? So uh, uh, what we've seen recently is the first leg of the correction, uh, you know, uh, from its recent highs uh, and more than 11% correction done in the markets. Uh, my sense is the market has bottomed for the short term, not necessary for the medium term perspective. Um, and uh, we have a reasonable evidence uh, suggesting that, you know, the markets, uh, the, the lows that we formed uh, last week more or less should hold. And from here on, you will see a trading rally to emerge. Uh, we've already seen the first leg, uh, you know, from 23, 300 levels uh, closer to 24, 100. I think the markets are just uh, taking some breather at these zones. And eventually, uh, we do expect uh, extension on the upside. Now, on a very short term basis, uh, with the expiry also this week, uh, once market starts to sustain above 24, 300, 400 levels, I think we expect uh, a move towards 24, 700, 25,000. I think that is where... Uh, the uh, retracement of the recent decline uh, would stop and then we would reassess the situation. But largely, uh, we still stand with the view that we are still in a medium term corrective uh, scenario where uh, the first leg of the correction is done. But uh, in this phase, we are just uh, viewing this move as a trading rally and then we would reassess at maybe at higher levels. Mm. So you you talk about the first resistance zone, 24,000 to 24,100, which is where we are right now, Manav. Now, the question a lot of our viewers would have is, what is the call that you take? Do you wait for Thursday expiry uh, to go through and then take fresh positions on Friday? Or is this the right time for a longer play? Um, um, we do anticipate that, you know, uh, in the current scenario, the upside resistance would be violated. I think when we are looking at the market, structures uh particularly how bank nifty or it uh, is positioned i think it has largely outperformed but uh you know how bank nifty is currently consolidating i think a move beyond 50 to 500 would actually get some bit of a strong momentum and a good push for the nifty in general so uh, uh bank nifty has already seen a good rally from its recent lows but consolidation near its resistance i think the next leg would be supported by banks uh my sense is uh, with private banks, obviously, which has been quite supportive, PSU banks would start to fire. Uh, so, likely speaking, we have already uh, recommending uh, uh, selective longs in the uh, banks. Uh, also, the PSU banks looks quite favorable. And with that scenario, once Bank Nifty starts to break above 50 to 500, there is a possibility of a 5% kind of trading rally, which could get markets closer to 25,000. So, uh, the next sector looks quite reasonable. And within the Nifty basket, uh, you know, uh, we have already seen how IT banks are supportive, but other sectors will contribute in case of any short covering. Okay, so uh, which are the sectors that could uh, contribute in case of short covering? You spoke about IT, you spoke about banks. These have seen a stable run-up in relative terms. What are you seeing on the potential side? Is it autos? And autos uh, rallying today, you know, from an m and to an Ola to a Hyundai, everyone having their day in the sun? Uh, so, uh, the maximum price hit that we've seen in the recent fall was uh, the autos and FMCG uh, in general. Uh, we, I think the price pain in FMCG more or less is done. Uh, the sector at best might just consolidate or try to form a base, but within the space you might see an odd short covering rally. For me, autos uh, is in a mixed bag. It is still uh, uh, going to be largely consolidating, but certain stocks within autos will do well, like your m and Aishar Motors, Hero Motors, and that matter. But uh, we are not very constructive on autos or FMCG, but, you know, these are the spaces within the large caps which are due for some bit of a trading rally or a bounce. Uh, and uh, with that, I think market needs to sustain above 24, 300 in a very short term to add fuel for some short covering or a fresh momentum leg. Uh, I think the only advantage that we've seen... Uh, in the recent bottom formation was that the mid and the small cap seems to be getting into a comfort zone. The breadth has improved um, and a lot of stocks are now sustaining above. It's the short term averages. So my sense is that this breakout should play out uh, on the upside and we will see an extended rally. So within that space, obviously, the high beta like real estate, 
looks quite well positioned. Uh, we are quite upbeat with the PSUs as a theme. I think that is one space that has seen a lot of uh, decline, which are bound for a short covering or a quick trading rally. So PSUs, IT uh, would be my preferred bets if I have to play the next trading rally along with banks. Okay. Uh, just uh, one last uh, bit. So you're sticking to banks. You're t sticking to, I think, um, the the big names right now. But what are you seeing the Nifty close this calendar year at, Manav? I'm just trying to understand. Are you going to be seeing this kind of a consolidated range bound level for the Nifty till December 31st, and then maybe a breakout post Jan? Uh, for also the immediate expectation is that uh, Nifty maybe in the month of December should be close to 24,700 or uh, northwards of 25,000. Um, that's my immediate understanding. Uh, largely, uh, you know, giant Feb uh, too early to anticipate, but you know, we would want to assess the situation how December really goes by in terms of market construct. But uh, uh, my uh, medium term theme remains that you know, you will find a lot of headwinds and resistance at 25,000, 25,200 and uh, unlikely that market will see uh, move beyond that on the immediate basis uh, until unless we have any big catalyst coming from the other scenario which currently market is not pricing in but we are only looking for the markets as a near term trading rally but uh, we, uh, the, the investment deployments would be done only at the low levels. Uh, just uh, one last uh, point from you, Manav. In the SMID universe, if you had to pick two or three winners uh, that seem poised for a breakout after being oversold uh, quite a bit, where would they be? And would some of them be, for example, in your defense railway space, which have been ignored for a while? Or are right. you seeing those with, you know, order book focus? What? Just trying to understand what you're liking right now. Okay, so... Uh, uh... My sense is largely, I think the PSUs as the basket, you know, which has been in a corrective decline uh, since uh, early July uh, uh, or mid July, you know, they have already witnessed a six months of decline, which definitely includes names like defense, railways, shipping, uh, select metals. I think the PSU as a space in general is, uh, has bottomed out or at the fag end of bottom certain sectors. My senses have bottomed out within the public sector uh, is your defense and your PSU bank. So we are recommending clients to start taking uh, medium term, long term positions in the PSU banks along with defense names um, and maybe any more jitters in the markets ahead. Uh, you know, we would be assessing this uh, sector very, very closely. Um, I think the next two bottom out should be happening in uh, your uh, shipping along with railways. But, uh, uh, you know, that bottom out might take a while the stock or the sector to consolidate. Unlikely that we see a very good uh, bull surge coming in. But more or less, you know, we are at the lower end and the fag end of the stage where things look comfortable. Beside the uh, public sector space within the split, uh, my sense is even the chemical space, you know, which the sector has been in a, a good uh, underperforming or a downtrend since last two and a half, three years. Uh, and uh, quite an underweight in the general market theme. So, you know, this is also one sector which has uh, very limited traction. And my base case is that we've seen some subtle accumulation playing out. So with the PSUs and chemicals within the split basket, I think this is an interesting zone where risk reward looks very favorable. And we would be eyeing uh, these sectors for taking some nimble long positions. One, one, one favorite from each. Okay, so uh, uh, to start with, uh, from the uh, chemicals, it will be Naveen Florine. Uh, you know, the stock has been showing very, very good accumulative patterns, make currently priced at 33, 3400. Uh, uh, and, you know, it is forming a good inverse head and shoulder pattern on the long term charts. Uh, and uh, I don't see the stock go below 3200. So maybe you, we have a good bandwidth for accumulation, but largely uh, we anticipate a 20, 25% kind of a rally coming in. Uh, and the sector has been quite beaten down uh, from the public sector, uh, you know, from the large cap, I like BEL uh, and from the mid cap space, it will be BDL. Okay, so BEL, Naveen Florine, these are some of the picks uh, from Manav Chopra. Definitely add those to your list. Manav, thank you so much. Always a pleasure to chat with you and thank you for joining you. us uh, today on NDTV Profit. We're going to take a very short break, but before we head into that break, quick check.